You were right. I knew this happened very quickly. No, it's not that. I have no doubt this is what I want. You are who I want. Well, that's wonderful. No. No, it's not. I can't do this. We can't do this. It's, it's too messy. It's too complicated. Because of Audrey? To break her heart. She was so happy with you, and in her eyes, I wrecked all that. Yes. Yes, we were very happy. In another life, we would have been wonderful together. Not this one. Sir. Oh. No, 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 no tears, Oko, huh? I completely understand what you're saying. And your desire to protect Audrey does you credit. She deserves better. I'd better leave. Norris chipping in. Okay, well, it might be good for you to find out what the real world thinks. I don't care about what anybody else thinks. All that matters is our feelings, and I happen to love you. So what am I meant to do with that? Meant to feel grateful? Is it meant to make my life easier? Well, it would, if you give me half the chance. Until Peter and Carla crash and burn again. Till he needs support, what happens then? Nothing. Because he's nothing to me. You know, I wish I could tell my feelings on and off. I wish I didn't still love you. That's me all over, isn't it? Stupid. Second my ways. Look, if you care anything for me, you'll leave me alone. So, did Mrs. Stape ask you to undertake the repair? Well, I, I sort of offered, I suppose. I mean, she was glad of the help. She was desperate. I mean, there's, there's two kids in the house. They had no water. I just thought I was doing them a favour. Yeah, I can understand that. Look, I know you are not a registered gas engineer, but have you any experience of maintaining or servicing a boiler or gas appliance? I mean, even in a, a junior or assistant capacity? No, but I, I work at the garage. It's not as if I've never worked with machinery before. I'm afraid that's not the same thing at all. Working on a car engine bears no resemblance to fixing a gas boiler. No, but... I realise that now. So, can you take us through everything you did, step by step? He likes to play the rough, tough mechanic, but he is sensitive deep down. Well, if you think that, he can't be all bad. Is this uncomfortable? No, it's fine. No pain at all. Well, you wouldn't have been saying that six weeks ago. No. Mm -hmm. Can't speak to the consultant, but you've made fantastic progress. Uh, we have. Honestly, I'm so grateful for what we've done. That's all you keep saying. Don't thank me. Thank the miracle of human physiology. Have you got the number? Yeah, uh, I think it's next directory. <laughs> well, I'll have to sell for you then, won't I? <laughs> no, honestly, I don't know how I'm ever going to repay you for what you've done. Oh, don't be daft. Seeing you smiling again is reward enough. <laughs> My dad's going to be waiting for me. Yeah, bye. Bye. Have you seen Lewis? Oh, no, you've just missed him. Not as much as this place will miss him, mind. What? Have you ever had one of those days when you wish you hadn't gone out of bed? Oh, uh, will you stop talking in riddles and tell me where he is? He's handed in his notice. He's taking that job in Italy. Where is he now? Gone to finalise things with a friend. Did they say where they were meeting? Oh, some hotel in town. Didn't mention the name. He'll be back later. I see. Is it urgent? Uh, no, it's just something to do with your grand. Oh, think those two will patch it up? I doubt that very much. Pity. It's going to be hard to replace. Yeah. Men like him don't grow on trees. Not around here, anyway. Sophie, that's wonderful news. Well, I'm sure the consultant will agree. Jenna knows what she's doing. Are you? Oh, well, if your dad's paying, make sure you have a pudding. All right, love, I'll see you later. Bye. 
Oh, hi, Gail. Hey, do you fancy a quickie in the Rovers? I feel like celebrating. Oh, what's the occasion? Sophie's physio reckons she's doing really well. Oh, that is good news. It's the best, so the drinks are definitely on me. Uh, sorry, Sal, I, I really don't fancy it, to be honest. Is everything all right? You really don't want to know. We're mates, aren't we? But why don't you come back to mine for a brew? Because Kevin's taking Sophie out for tea. We won't be disturbed. Got some chocolate digestive. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just the ticket. <laughs> Come on. Listen, maybe we can offload that order to someone else. Yeah. The thing is, they're Metney's designs, aren't they? We try flogging them to someone else. Gonna have his lawyers all over us. Mm. I don't get it, though. I mean, why would you just change your mind just like that? I don't know. It stinks to high heaven. There's something not right. Oh, look at you two. Oh, come on, take the screen masks off and have a drink with me. No, thank you. <laughs> Give over. There's no reason why we can't be mates. Oh, do you not reckon? What's so? You had a bad day? <laughs> I've had a bell to me. Want to hear about it? Get stuff, Rob. I pitched up at the garage this afternoon. I don't know. Rita's flat, I guess. I'm going to have to come forward. I can't let Tommy take the rap Don't do me. anything too hasty. Let's see what the rap is first. Remember, Tommy did this of his own free will. He didn't have to twist his arm. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't... No buts, Ty. Look, if you put your hand up now, he's just going to blow things sky high with Kirsty, and that's the last thing Tommy wants. That means he's been through his aggro for nothing. It hasn't happened overnight. We've been getting closer for a while. Today he kissed me. He wanted to take it further. Well, do you think he's serious? Why wouldn't he be? Well, it's just, you know what fellas are like, the promise of the air. He's and... not some fella. He's a total gentleman. And he couldn't be more serious. After what he's done, I'm in no doubt about that. Well, what do you mean? Well, he was offered a dream job. But he would have had to leave... Weatherfield to take it up. He passed up on the opportunity of a lifetime to stay with me. Oh, Gail, it sounds so romantic. I mean, it's just like Edward and Mrs. Simpson. Oh, no. That was straightforward next to my situation. But I don't see the problem. Well, let's just say he comes with baggage. In fact, he could fill a carousel twice over. I see. It's not like some of your recent... Um... Oh, no. No. Um, he was involved with someone I know. It's not Kevin, is it? Kevin! <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> well, why? What's wrong with Kevin? Um, uh, nothing. Kevin's very Kevin. You don't know all the people involved. Well, I know this much, Gail. If this other woman is any kind of friend, she'll be happy for you. <laughs> she'll get over it in time. I wouldn't want to hurt her. I care about her. That's very good of you, Gail, but there comes a time when you have to look out for yourself. You have to put your happiness first. Who knows when a chance like this is going to come along again, if ever. Girlfriend says you're fine, you're laughing. Ryan, right, don't joke about it. But it is a joke. It can't be anything else. You do realise that. So why are you getting carried away with this? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not blind. I mean, what you feel for Jenna, it's it's a crush, a, a fantasy, and that's fine, harmless, as long as you realise it can't be anything more. No, we're close, and that's real. I like to think we're close, but you couldn't ever fancy me because that's not who you are, and it's the same with Jenna and you. No one would be so sure. So you're saying she's a lesbian now? I don't know. But I'm telling you this, I am more to her than just a patient. A lot more. Look, it would be easy if she up sticks and went. And while she's still living here, saying those things, I can't move on. I'm limber. Sorry it took so long. That's all right. 
So is it a river dirty or not? I'm afraid it's a river dirty. But I prefer chow between friends. Uh, we are still friends. Of course. You deserve a fresh start. God knows I could do with one. <laughs> But you must have identified something as the cause of the fault. Look, I can't recall exactly what happened, all right? Look, you know what it's like. You do a lot of these things on instinct. And have you used this instinct of yours before on other boilers or gas appliances? No, it, it was a total one-off. And that's how it's going to stay, I promise. When you completed your repair, did you ask for or receive payment? No, absolutely not. It was a favour for a mate. Well, at least that was what it was supposed to be. I see. Mr Duckworth, are you aware of the possible penalties for what you've done? I can make a fair guess. There are a number of charges that could be brought against you. Some of them carry a custodial sentence. Look, if you're trying to scare me, then don't bother. I'm scared to death as it is, but not a prison about what I might have done to my friend. I've been looking forward to coming back here. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Can't abide these sort of places as a rule. The only thing skinnier than the waitresses are the portions, usually. <laughs> but I had a damn good feed last time. Well, I told you my grandson would look after us, didn't yeah, I? He's done all right for himself. Bit of Alf's nouse must have rubbed off. Well, good evening. Welcome to Nick's Bistro. Do you have a reservation? Blimey. What ho, Jeeves? I take it you can recommend the plums? Uh, yes, we have booked, actually, Lewis. Excellent. Now, do you want to go straight to the table? I doubt it will come to us, mate. No, I thought you might like to have a drink at the bar first. No, no, no. We'll take the weight off and pick it. Well, walk this way. I doubt it. He looks like he's on a combo. Oh, not. Henry, now come on, give up. <laughs> yeah, thank you. My pleasure. It's all right. Good manage, thank you. You'll be cutting up my dinner for me in a minute. Let you peruse the menu. Thank you. Hello again. Hi there. Look, before you say anything, your mother's in with some lower order of primate in tow. I think he's the one from New Year's Eve. So they made it to the second date. It's Henry Wilkins. They go back years. He used to be on the council. Then. I assume his constituency was Weatherfield Zoo. Let's hope he doesn't eat the centrepiece. Never mind him. We need to talk. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a bit busy at the moment. All right. You can wait. Yeah. I'll have a white wine. Any, any particular variety? Why don't you surprise me? Nothing would give me greater pleasure, Gail. I'm surprised he didn't get a lamp out and start shining it in my face. You're getting your right, Grilly. He's only doing his job, I suppose. This is a serious matter. Deadly serious sometimes. It was nice of you, little at his cost last order, eh? Oh, I don't know. If I had to go home to Brian, I think I'd babysit for every child in a 20 mile radius. <laughs> Pipe in a vodka and tonic, please. You sort your dress out? No, you can fish all you like. I'm telling you nothing. Suffice to say, come the big day, I don't think you'll be disappointed. <laughs> sure. I still don't know. You could be so stupid. Do you know I nearly died from carbon monoxide poisoning once? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that inspector had every right to do what he did. He had it coming. All right. I hope we throw the book at you. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but they're not taking any more action. Yeah, he uh, might have put the frighteners on me, but you could see how sorry I was. Let me off with a warning. Mind if I join you? It's getting a bit crowded. Why not try the cellar? I'm sure you'll fit right in down there. Bitterness don't become you, sis. All's fair, as they say. Well, if it's a war, I think I've definitely won. I mean, I sacked you, remember? Mm, yeah. I think about it all the time. Mm. Not with your evil twin. If you mean Michelle, she's gone home. It's um, a shame about McNeese. What do you know about it? It's dead sloppy. Not getting his moniker on the dotted line. You were in charge of that? Yeah, I know. And at the time, I got his return flight details so I could be there to greet him at the airport. Of course, I, I didn't have your contract with me, having been sacked and all. What did you say to him? I just put him in the picture. Told him I'd left Underworld due to uncertainty over future ownership. I mean, naturally, he was a bit worried at first. Of course, you have let him down before. I cannot believe I'm hearing this. Oh, no, it, it gets better. See, I told him about my new position, and before I knew where we were at, we were shaking hands on a new deal. Your old deal. Well, if integrity were petrol, you wouldn't even get off the drive, would you, Rob? <laughs> I don't have a drive, remember? Oh, and, and if you get any ideas, I've already had the paperwork drawn up and couriered over to McNeese. It's already signed and sealed. Everything I've done for you. Yeah, you sacked me, remember? 
So much for blood's thicker than water. Well, you're thicker than both if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. This isn't over, you know. Well, maybe it isn't. But I'd definitely say it's 1 0, wouldn't you? Anyway, I'll uh, leave you to enjoy your evening. Well, grand, Nick. Grand. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Answer me this, though. Why were the chips twice cooked? Did you not get them right the first time? <laughs> oh, look at his face. I'm only kidding, son. I shall be back, hopefully, with a former Lady Mayoress on my arm. Well, we'll see, Henry. Oh, has Noel Coward got my doggy bag? Your leftovers. Waste not one not. My basset will make short work of this lot. Night, all. Night, Audrey. Yeah, uh, night. I seem to get on all right. Yeah, I'm glad she's been able to move on. I just wish I had the same opportunity. Do you? Didn't think you were your type. You can say that again. <laughs> Why don't you two knock off early, eh? I can help Lewis clear up. You look done in. <laughs> it's all right. No, it's not. You've not been yourself all day. And don't you need to spend some quality time with that husband of yours? Well, it suits me, but... Oh, well, if you're sure. Perfectly. You get off. Thanks. Cheers. Very subtle. Oh, well, they don't suspect anything. Mm. Anyway, the time for subtlety is past. Yeah. Have you taken that job? I'm due to fly out at the end of the month. Given what you said earlier, it's probably for the best. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Then there were two. Not for much longer. Not if you go to Italy. Well, there's nothing worth staying for here. Yes, there is. You changed your mind? Yes. If you've not changed yours. That's gone it. What a relief. I thought I were going to be battling with that bit of gristle all night. Oh, dear. <laughs> Have a nice scramble. But all this fine dining's doing my waistline no good at all. Maybe we should try something different next time. Oh, Henry. Have you ever tried carpet balls? No, I That's can't settled say. then. You have not lived till you've had a wood in your hands. Oh, Henry, please. Now, do you know, it's been really lovely catching up with you again, but I wouldn't want to lead you on. Oh. I see. I put the cart before the horse, as usual. No, no, you have done nothing wrong, Henry. Honestly. I never do. It's all right, Audrey. There's no need to explain. Yes, there is, actually. You see, the truth is, uh, I'm not really looking for any sort of relationship just now. Sorry. Don't be. It's been my pleasure. And if ever you need a friend, you know where I am. It's a pity, mind. You don't love carpet bolts. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> You're not grand. No, not really. Still, that's life, isn't it? <laughs> Tell me about it. Nice. That's sweet. Hi. Didn't know you like kebabs. No, I can't stand them really, but it's warm in there and they serve tea. What are you waiting for? You. You early? At least you haven't wasted too much of your time. Nick! Look, uh, there's nothing left to say. It's broken. Beyond repair. No. Not you and me. Why do you think it always comes back to you and me? Because I'm an idiot. I don't know what's good for me. But I'm learning. Well, you can tell yourself what you want, but you've already admitted it. You love me. And I love you. Do you realise how lucky that makes us? <laughs> Lucky's the last thing I feel. Look, Nick, life is short. All that really matters is happiness. And it's within touching distance. We can reach out and grab it if we want. It's not that simple. It is. Because I really want to be your wife. And if you want to be my husband, then... we can do it. A week today. What are you talking about? I've rearranged the wedding. The licence is still valid. 
and Delbert Call can fit us in at four o'clock. I'll be there. The rest is up to you. You do appreciate that I wouldn't give up this job lightly. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Of course I understand that. And if you feel you need to take it, I completely understand. No, no, you don't. I haven't the slightest doubt about where my heart lies. And for that reason, I desperately want to stay here. But if you have any lingering reservations... No, no. None whatsoever. I've thought of nothing else since this morning. I mean, I know it's not going to be easy, but... Some things are worth fighting for. I can't tell you how happy I am to hear you say that. I'll ring Patrick in the morning and tell him I've changed my mind. Will he be angry with you for messing him about? Furious, I suppose. But I'd rather upset an old mate than lose the love of my life. Is that how you really feel? Audrey meant a great deal to me, but... next to the depth of feelings that you inspire... I don't know how I'm going to tell her. I suggest we don't. Keep it secret? Well, to begin with, you know, try and establish ourselves first. Smell the roses before we have to face the music with your family. Oh, you're right. We don't want to kill this before it begins. Besides, a bit of cloak and dagger might add a little extra frisson. Oh, believe me. I don't need any help in that direction. This weekend, all new to ITV1, who, amongst some famous faces, will be more dive-bomb than diva in the pool. Olympian Tom Daly's The Judge Splash starts tomorrow at 7.15. Next, swinging through the doors of the Solana, famous friend of Donald and Jacqueline is in Benidorm. <laughs>